What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd make this video um, just to kind of give advice on people who might want to come to Newcastle for uni or if you're from Newcastle and you want to go to uni here, just to sum up what my experience was like because it was a big part of my life and I did go to uni for about a year and a half before I realised that it wasn't for me. This video is just to give advice on halls, money, nightlife, the social side and the academic side. So I think I started uni in 2017, I want to say, September 2017. I was 18. Um, and I moved out and I moved into Trinity Square student accommodation, which is in Gateshead. The accommodation itself is like really nice. I would say it's like one of the better ones that is like classed as uni of. When I was looking into uni, um, you were advised to kind of stick with the uni of accommodations rather than go private, especially for your first year. I think that's more to just like, so you socialise and you meet people because more than likely someone in your accommodation is going to be doing your course. So at the time I was about 18 years old and um, this was my first time living away from home. I was really nervous um, and I had like so much anxiety, but like I was excited at the same time about like moving to like not really a new place because I'm from so basically I'm from a little town called Jabo it's about 20 minutes away from Newcastle so for me like I wasn't really wanting to take that big step and move to a different city Um, I kind of wanted to stay local so I'd say like one of the good things about Trinity Square was like it was one of the more modern ones and basically like the actual accommodations like on top of this 24 hour Tesco. So if you are looking and moving up and you want something convenient, then maybe that's for you. Like I say, like it had like a 24 hour Tesco. There was like a, there was a pound shop nearby. There was a Nando's, there was a view cinema. There was like a high street of shops. So like it was really convenient for all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's about a 20 minute walk, I would say from the actual uni itself. Cause you've got to walk into Newcastle to get there. Um, So it's not too bad, but it is, I think it's the only one that's really out of the way, it's the furthest. Um, but there is like a metro and stuff, so I just used to do that. You get your own like ensuite, double bed, um, your wardrobe, like drawers, like there's plenty of space. I would say like compared to like my other friends accommodation stories, like this was like big compared to like the normal sizes that people were talking about. Yeah, so it had everything you wanted, um, apart from nice stuff, but you can't have everything in life. I mean listen, I'm gonna try and play nice um in this video about it all, but Maybe they've changed the stuff now, so it might be different, but at the time, like, it was an absolute nightmare. So I'm going to be careful what I say because I don't want a lawsuit against my name. Uh, there was five of us in one flat. The kitchen's absolutely huge and um, there's, like, a dining and seating area. There's, like, an island kind of thing where, like, everyone can, like, sit around and stuff. Um, It is, like... The halls are made to be social, like there's no there was no like telly in the in the kitchen or anything. So like when we're all in there, like we're all socialised and stuff. So the good thing about what some universities do is if you book a certain accommodation, you can find your flatmates before you move in on Facebook. So for Trinity Square, I remember there was like a Facebook group and we all kind of found each other through that. I think I met all of my flatmates apart from one. Um one girl who we met on the day when we moved in, but the others like I'd already spoke to them on Facebook and stuff, had like a cheeky stalk. So we had like a chat and stuff, we spoke about like who's gonna down the most shots and stuff and like who's like the bigger drinker and who's gonna sleep with the most people. <laughs> <laughs> like I can honestly say Freshers Week was like the best time of my life. So basically I'm from a town in Newcastle called Jarrow, um, which is like near South Shields. Um, everyone kind of always knows where South Shields is. So it's near South Shields. Um, so if I was ever going on nights out, it would always be to South Shields or Sunderland. Like I was never really going out in town. I'd only turned 18 in April that year and I was in uni and moved out by September. So I wasn't really much of a party animal myself. I think it was good because I'd never really experienced the Newcastle nightlife, which is like amazing. That's like one of the good things that we do have here if you are looking and coming. I think one important thing is don't buy the Freshers bands. I personally didn't because like I'd got warned about it, but there is some people who like buy these bands and some of them I've like looked and they're like 50, 60 quid. Like, <laughs> it's a ripper. So yeah, don't buy the Freshers bands. Unless like you've already spoke to your flatmates and you are all gonna buy one together, then maybe get one. But I'm pretty sure when I moved into the flat I was in, like one of the girls had had bought like a band and I don't think any of us had, so it was a bit awkward. I mean like the band gets you in places for free, but like Freshers Week, it's so spontaneous and you could end up anywhere. So you don't really want to kind of spend 50, 60 quid. I personally wouldn't buy the bands unless like I say, you've already spoken to your flatmates or whatever. Now this one's so, 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 so important. Within that week, you really need to bond with your flatmates. 
these are the people that are ultimately going to make your experience either good or bad for that whole year. Like, these are the people you're living with, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I think like the first night's really crucial. So the actual floor that we were on had two other flats. One of them was another five, like us, and then one of them was a studio with like a couple in. I think the flat next door knocked on our door and was like, hi. Freshers Week's all about introducing yourself. I remember like when I had to introduce myself in person, my flatmates, I was like, hi, I'm Jack, I'm from Jara, <laughs> I'm local. Like my advice to people who are like starting uni is like, use this to your advantage. Nobody knows who you are. Like nobody knows anything about you. You know what I mean? You can be whoever you want to be. I'm not saying like be fake or anything, but if you've just came from like sixth form or college or school and like you weren't really like that much or like you had a bit of a reputation in a way, like this is your chance to paint a new impression of yourself. Like, so I'd definitely say be confident and push yourself. One of the good things about halls is like just how wild everyone is. Like the reason that I said like before is that I don't want to say too much about what we all got up to but like we had the worst reputation for that year like oh sorry sorry oh i'm sorry don't hurt me sorry if you don't move into halls then like it is a big i think it's a big mistake and you are missing out so much on like all these experiences um because most people that i've met from halls are like now my friends for life and i speak to them now like two years on and stuff I remember when I was in halls, we had like a massive group of friends, you know, would always go out together. And basically, this is a funny story. So there was a rule in Trinity Square that I think the music, all basically all kinds of noise had to be off by 11pm. It was from 11pm until I think it was 7 or 8. Like the time around that was called the social hour. So we named our group like social hours. Um, and would always get wrong off security like all the time <laughs> it's so funny to like look back on because like I, that's what we used to call ourselves and like security would know as the social hours group and like would just always take the piss and like I don't know it just it really made like the university accommodation experience much better having that big group of friends who were all just as wacky and all these people that I met it wasn't from like the same block like we all lived in different blocks but because we all went to all these parties and stuff we just kind of formed like this group and it was like so nice to have that in uni if i would advise anything it would be to just socialize 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 i know a lot of people are gonna have questions like am i gonna live with a messy person am i gonna live with a loud person am i gonna live with someone who likes to blast the music at two in the morning am i gonna be living with someone who likes to have an after party every night am i gonna be living with someone who's really boring the answer is yes you are gonna have to deal with these things or you might not i think it just totally depends on who you get put with like at the end of the day you're not gonna get along with everyone you know i remember my flat like we're all like a close knit group for like a week or two weeks and then once you start going to your lectures and stuff once you start like branching out and meeting your course mates and things like that like people just kind of like go off into the groups which is totally fine i think you've got to find the balance obviously these are the people you're living with so don't like completely stop speaking to them but i think freshers week like summed up you've just got to kind of be confident know who you are just speak to people just get to know people so like try and have like flat praise do you know what i mean and like get people around and so we had a block chat and we would just put in like is anyone having praise tonight or sometimes we'd be like oh we're having praise tonight and like people would just come around and <laughs> be prepared for going out like for seven days in a row like that will happen by yourself having one meal a day a lot of people will say oh i just won't be able to afford going out for seven days a week you will like now i think back and i think like how the hell did i afford that but like there's a thing called a student loan one of the good things about coming to newcastle is obviously the nightlife to be fair like it is good i think it's just because everyone's dead sound and there's loads of different places you can go like every day i would say during the week's better than a weekend and it's cheaper as well like that's one of the good things it's so cheap like you can get like trebs for like six pound like who doesn't want that do you know what i mean and just be open to places like i know now i wouldn't go to certain places that i went in fresh airs just because as time goes on like you kind of learn what you like and stuff and you'll just figure out like where you want to go you don't need to stress about where to go i think just like unplanned nights out are like the best nights out so try and have that mindset when like you're going out like with me now like i like all kinds of music so whether it's like adm or like house and techno or like r&b there's always a place in newcastle for like that kind of stuff one big thing that i would say is like always try and say yes try and not stay in and go out and experience as much as you can um, and just really get to know people because these people ultimately turn into like your friends for life also around about october november time you'll start hearing things like oh we need to sort a house for second year like we need to get that sorted and stuff my best advice is wait i would wait you've only known these people for a month or two months so you don't really want to be jumping straight into a house with people that you could potentially not be speaking to in a month's time it's a very 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 big commitment 
meant to live with people you've met for 30 days, you know? So I would really wait. I didn't sign on for anywhere until I knew who I really wanted to live with, because it is a big thing, Um, who I really got along with. I think we signed for the flat I'm in now. So about May time, you know, a few of the nicer houses will go first, but like, we found this last minute and it's all right. And don't feel like you've got to live in Jesmond or wherever. We don't live in Jesmond and we're absolutely fine being here. It really just depends on the situation. Just don't do anything that you don't want to do and don't push into anything, because that's the worst thing you could do. Get yourself a little cheeky part-time job, because obviously like your parents are I'm gonna fund you for everything and you are gonna have to fend for yourself and you want to kind of work I would say 20 hours maximum a week I think it just depends on your workload from your course some people might really not have that much work to do and some people might have like loads of work because your loan isn't going to cover anything my loan it just really covered the accommodation accommodations are quite high I was quite lucky so when I lived in Trinity Square I worked at the Sage like I done like two shifts a week I think and it was like a five minute walk so it was really ideal so yeah, it was good because I'd kind of finish uni maybe like three or four, go straight to work and then I'd be there until like 10, 11. And then obviously my accommodation was just like round the corner. So I'd go back, get changed, maybe shove a sausage roll down my throat and then go out the door and go to town. I think maybe something that's not taking your days up. So maybe just aim for getting like a cafe job or a bar job just to like give you some money on the side so you're not struggling. Not to like stress anyone out. Food wise, I think I lived on like beans on toast, cheese on toast, egg on toast, bacon on toast, just anything with toast on really. But that wasn't like all the time. That was just like, I was running late for something. I just needed like a quick snack before I went out or like whatever. You can live all right and you can eat good as well. Um, You've just got a budget, like it's all about budgeting. So then there's actual uni itself. So for the full freshers week, it's kind of just about going out, getting to know your flatmates, getting to know people in the club, like stuff like that. Lectures and stuff then aren't really lectures. It's all like introduction and like, welcome to the course. And like, you don't really get to do anything. It's more so like you're there for two minutes. Um, So like, you don't really have to go to them things. Like I remember I had a personal tutor and I think I met with my personal tutor like three times. I mean, half the time I wasn't there because I was hungover, but... <laughs> but that's not the point. I just didn't understand, like, that kind of dynamic. Try and go to, like, the Freshers' Fair because they do give out, like, a lot of free stuff. I know Northumbria done that anyway. I'm not too sure about Newcastle if you plan on going to Newcastle Uni. The thing with uni, it's very independent. So like you'll have your lectures and stuff and like your lecturers are there to talk to you. But I felt like during first year, it was just more so like, like this isn't to put anyone off going to uni or whatever, but I just personally felt like the whole time I was there, everyone seemed to know what they were doing and I just didn't have a clue. That might have to do with the fact that I wasn't always there. <laughs> I didn't really know what was going on half the time. Um, I'm a bit like that anyway. I think it was also the fact it was very independent, which is something I wasn't used to coming straight from college. Um, so be prepared to like be independent for like once in your life. Obviously like you've moved out of home and you're going in the real world now. So definitely prepare yourself for like some more independent. A lot of people are like, you know, first year is just a breeze. Like you don't really need to do anything. Like oh, it's all about getting drunk and stuff. Like yes, it is to a certain point but you've also got to be doing the work otherwise you're not going to pass <laughs> just try and find like a good balance that was something i always struggled with is finding the balance i think for the first few months you don't really have the balance and then you hit a certain point and just before christmas like november time like you'll start settling and stuff i was lucky because like my next door neighbors at the time they were on my course so i always knew what was going on just because of them yeah it's just however it works out for you um everyone's personal experience is different i think the academic side is obviously like the side you like I love I hate and um, for me it was hate like I just really didn't enjoy it and I think you'll you'll know that within the first few months if you're enjoying it or not don't feel like you have to go if you're not enjoying it like if you're not enjoying it then don't put yourself through it but I would say is try and do it for the first year and if you didn't enjoy it don't go back it's trial and error really that's just how life is it's not for everyone like that's something I had to learn um you know I tried twice you know I tried two different courses it wasn't for me but yeah, if you're thinking about coming to Newcastle um, for uni, then I would really recommend it. Um, you meet some cracking people and you will have a really good time, like wherever you choose to stay or whoever you meet. I think everything happens for a reason. So if you are thinking about coming to Newcastle for uni, then just do it. Don't hesitate. So that was kind of my experience with the whole thing. If you just want to hear more about my experience and you want us to like break down into videos, certain things, then just le let us know in the comments. It's honestly like there's so much and I didn't want to cram it all into like one big video. Um, I just kind of wanted to get the key points. So I'm an absolute idiot. I thought I filmed like an outro to this video, but <laughs> turns out I didn't. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. If you want to see more videos based on uni, I really did go through it all that whole year. Drop us a comment and just say what you'd like more advice on. Um, 
or if there's anything I can help you out with. Um, I don't have any problem answering your questions. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.